What if I told you that your child could master any language using the same secret techniques that Hollywood actors use? Today, I'm going to show you how a simple tongue twister challenge, you know, like Peter Piper picked a peck and so on, can transform your child's language abilities forever, even for monolinguals. Tres tristes tigres tragaba ruedas más ruedas que rápido. Speed it up. She sells seashells. Ipsons eres busker o andre buskevexter. <sighs> that is a Norwegian tongue twister, but daddy, my tongue is getting dizzy here. Darkness falls, I close my eyes But the past never dies Try to drown it out Now we're gonna do a tongue twister challenge. So basically I want you to... We can start with one tongue twister and then you will start by saying it slow and then you'll let us try, or maybe Selena here can try. She sells seashells by the seashore. Give it a try, and then we'll speed it up. She sells seashells at the seashore. That was really close. Just a tiny adjustment. It's she sells seashells by the seashore. You're almost there. Want to give it another go before we speed it up? She sells seashells by the seashore <laughs> let's make it a bit faster she sells seashells by the seashore she sells give it a go at this speed seashells not quite <laughs> almost it's she sells seashells by the seashore seashells. keep going you're getting closer she sells seashells at the seashore <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch what just happened there? That wasn't just a fun game, that was science in action. When children practice tongue twisters, whether it's classic English tongue twisters or something more challenging, they are actually building three crucial skills. Speech muscle strength, like a workout for your mouth. Sound awareness, crucial for reading and speaking. And my personal favorite, speech confidence. But here's what most parents don't know. Tongue twisters aren't just for perfecting your first language. They're actually a secret weapon for learning any new language. Let me show you what I mean. Murcielago. Let's break it down. Murcielago. Now you try. Murcielago. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Watch what happens when we add our tongue twister technique. Que rápido. Ruedan las ruedas. Ruedan las ruedas. Del ferrocarril. Del ferrocarril. Da 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 da. Let's try perro, which means dog. It has a rolled arre sound. Here's how to break it down. P Ro. Focus on rolling the arre in the middle. Give it a try. Perro. Did you notice something amazing there? When children practice tongue twisters in different languages, they develop what I call tongue flexibility. The ability to make any sound in any language. It's like giving them a superpower that makes learning a new language feel natural and as fun as those crazy tongue twister stories we all love. And the best part? This works whether they're learning one language or five. Let me show you exactly how. Put my heart on the line, begging you to be mine. You can't be left alone in the spare Can you do another tongue twister that is also fairly simple, ChatGPT? Chat sure thing. Great! Peter, my guidelines won't let me talk about that. Okay. Can I help you with something else? So your guidelines won't let you 
do a tongue twister? That is pretty oh. crazy. Glad you think so. Let's see how you do. <laughs> Peter Piper, okay. Peck of Pig. These games can be used for any language. They can also be adjusted for any level. No worries. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Now it's your turn. Peter Piper picked a pickle of pickers. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Give it another shot. Okay, okay. I, th I think I know what the problem is. Can you chop it up in half? Peter Piper picked a peck. Give that a try. Peter Piper picked a peck of picks. That was perfect. Nicely done. Here's the second half <gasps> of pickled peppers. Of, now you try. Of pickled peppers. Yes, exactly. Now let's put it all together. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter, Give it a shot. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Whoa! <laughs> you can see that Selena has a lot of fun, right? But this is actually language learning disguised as games. What she's actually doing is practicing different English sounds under difficult conditions. When the conditions become normal, these sounds will appear to be a lot easier. If you want to try these games at home, we have a free downloadable guide down below. Here we have collected a lot more details and information on how you can do this for your particular situation. If you go to the playlist that this video is a part of, you will find a lot of videos